contrary to their name, jellyfish are not actually fish. They are gelatinous invertebrates in the phylum Cnidaria, and they have been around for over 500 million years. Most are marine, but some do inhabit fresh water. The word jellyfish is often used to describe many groups of gelatinous and floating animals, including comb jellies and siphonophores. This video will focus on the true jellyfish in the class Cyphozoa and the box jellyfish in the class Cubozoa. There are about 200 species in Cyphozoa and about 20 species in Cubozoa. Jellyfish are present in all the world's oceans, from the surface waters to the deep sea. They are 95% water. They have no brain, heart, blood, or bones. An elementary nervous system, called the nerve net, allows a jellyfish to smell, detect light, and respond to other stimuli. They range in size from a fraction of an inch to over six feet in diameter. The top part of their body is called a bell. True jellyfish are umbrella or saucer shaped, while box jellyfish have four distinct sides on their bell. Jellyfish bodies are composed of two tissue layers separated by a jelly-like connective tissue called the mesoglea. The outer layer is called the epidermis, and the inner layer is called the gastrodermis. True jellyfish have tentacles, oral arms, or both. Tentacles are slender, hanging down from the margin of their bell. Tentacles can be long or short. They contain stinging cells that assist in the capture of prey. The tentacles are typically straight and unbranched. They are often highly extendable. Oral arms are thicker than tentacles. They surround the central mouth of the jellyfish. The oral arms may be short, branched, bushy, or long. The oral arms may also contain stinging cells. In fact, Depending on the species, any part of a jellyfish, even the bell, can potentially sting. Box jellyfish don't have any oral arms. They always have one or more stinging tentacles hanging from each of the four corners of their bell. Jellyfish stinging cells are called nidocytes. Each stinging cell contains a structure called a nematocyst. The nematocyst contains a coiled, barbed thread. When triggered, the thread explodes outward and pierces the victim's skin, discharging venom. The majority of jellyfish stings on humans occur in tropical waters. Jellyfish stings range from mild to deadly. The world's most venomous marine animal is a box jellyfish called the sea wasp. However, many species of jellyfish are harmless to humans. The severity of a jellyfish sting depends on the species of jellyfish, the penetrating power of the nematocyst, the thickness of the victim's skin, and the sensitivity of the victim to the venom. Jellyfish have no special organs for respiration. Instead, they absorb oxygen through diffusion. Most jellyfish swim by pulsating their bell. True jellyfish have limited control over their movements, relying on the current to move them along. Box jellyfish have more control and can move rather quickly. Not all jellyfish spend all their time swimming. For example, the upside-down jellyfish prefers to rest on the bottoms of shallow areas with its bell side down and its oral arms up. The simple digestive cavity of a jellyfish acts as both its stomach and intestine, with one opening for both food and waste. Jellyfish feed in several ways. Most use their stinging tentacles to catch plankton, crustaceans, or fish. Jellyfish with heavier tentacles tend to catch large prey like fish, while those with thin tentacles tend to catch tiny plankton. 
Some species trap plankton in a mucus coating on their oral arms. The upside-down jellyfish relies on the photosynthetic activity of symbiotic algae called zooxanthellae in their tissues. Some jellyfish, such as the moon jellyfish, can change color based on the type of food that they eat. Some jellyfish shrink in reaction to starvation as they catabolize their own tissues. The jellyfish life cycle typically consists of two forms, the free-swimming medusa form and the attached polyp form. This allows them to reproduce both sexually and asexually. Polyps are usually tube-like, with stinging tentacles sticking up like a sea anemone. Polyps are typically incredibly tiny. Adult medusae have separate males and females. Females produce eggs, and males release sperm into the water. The fertilized eggs hatch into larvae that eventually settle and become attached polyps. The polyp stage may last for several months or years. Using their tentacles, polyps feed on microscopic organisms in the water. The polyps reproduce asexually by budding off tiny larval jellyfish. A larval jellyfish is called an ephra. The ephra eventually develops into an adult medusa. The reproductive gonads of jellyfish are often visible through their translucent bell. Some species, like the helmet jellyfish, do not go through a polyp or ephra stage. The adults lay eggs that develop directly into their bell-shaped adult form. In most cases, adult jellyfish only live a year or less, but this can vary by species. There's even a species called the immortal jellyfish that can age backwards when under stress. While true jellyfish are only able to sense the presence of light, box jellyfish have fairly developed eyes. The eyes are grouped in clusters on the four sides of their bell, allowing them to see specific points of light. Jellyfish play an important role in cycling ocean nutrients. Organisms like sea turtles, spiny dogfish, chum salmon, and ocean sunfish consume jellyfish. As predators of jellies are removed by fishing, and as pollution causes more nutrients to flow into the ocean, some types of jellyfish are finding it easier to grow and survive. Large concentrated swarms of jellyfish, called jellyfish blooms, can cause problems. Many jellyfish species bloom as a natural part of their life cycle. However, increasingly, some blooms are covering larger areas and lasting longer than normal. Huge explosions in jellyfish numbers can make for unpleasant swimming, disrupt fisheries by clogging nets, or foul up the works of power plants that use seawater for cooling. Big storms may wash thousands of them onto shore, where they dry out and quickly die. Even a jellyfish lying dead on the beach can still give a painful sting when touched. Jellyfish are high in nutrients and can be prepared cooked or uncooked. Usually only the swimming bell is processed, although the oral arms are also used for some species. They are often processed with a mixture of salt and alum, creating a semi-dried product commonly marketed in China, Korea, and Japan. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.